Today we give him the opportunity to rejoice in the Gospel of Luke, as it is his feast day. Luke was Greek, lived in Antioch, at that stage the capital of Syria, and he was a medical man by profession. And it was through this profession that he met St. Paul, who'd consulted with him on some or other matter. And it was through St. Paul that Luke converted to Christianity. He followed St. Paul or worked with St. Paul on one of his pilgrimages. I think it was about a three-year stint that he accompanied Paul. And even when they returned, Luke would visit him frequently. And it is on Paul, Paul's ideas and Paul's observations and his knowledge that Luke drew a lot of his information for the Gospel. Also, of course, he would have had the Gospels of Matthew and Mark available. He consulted, as well, eyewitnesses. It is presumed that he drew quite heavily on what Mary, the mother of Jesus, was able to tell him. So, Luke's Gospel could also be referred to as Paul's Gospel or Our Lady's Gospel. But the most important thing is that he instructed the Gentiles in the way of the Jewish tradition, therefore giving us an insight from both sides, the Gentile and the Jewish side. Gospels are there as an account of Jesus' life and ministry and an opportunity for us to follow, to base our lives on the words of the gospel, to live the gospel, not only by word, but by our actions, to live the gospel. May St. Luke pray for us.